Good morning, Cody. I am here with Sam. Say hi, Sam. Hi. <laughs> and there's a house that Sam quite likes. It's on Eucalyptus, 13, excuse me, 3815 Eucalyptus Street. So it's 1,672 on the main with 740 in the basement. Two car garage. It's actually like a two and a half car garage. Um, it's a lovely home. It really is. You wouldn't know it was three years old already. Driveway is in pretty perfect condition. A little bit of oxidization there on the driveway. That's either when uh, fertilizer got put down or that's some of the rebar rusting under the concrete. It's pretty common. Um, you know, red homes, the paint job doesn't last as long on red homes in Colorado. This, the, the red just does not hold out well under the sun. Is that concrete? Is that an optical illusion? Is that concrete dipping a little bit? It does look like in the middle, yeah, I see it. Let's see here, sorry, Sam and I. Yeah, it looks like it kind of goes down a little bit. As I walk on it, I don't feel, feel it though. Yeah. Let's look at that here in a minute. Okay. We won't bother you too much with that right now, Cody. <laughs> So as you come in, you've got engineered hardwoods. So engineered hardwoods is, it's an all wood floor, but it's like a composite wood on the bottom and then a veneer on the top. This is the Avery. It was super, super popular for Hartford. I don't know why they discontinued it. It's nice and open plan. And then the big thing for the Avery was the bonus room above the garage which we'll see in a minute, where these, buy, these sellers paid to have a closet put in to make it into a bedroom. Pantry. And sorry, Cody, it's really hard to talk <laughs> with the mask on. We're having trouble breathing. So if I sound a little out of breath, I'm <laughs> out of breath. <laughs> Appliances we've opened up, they're all in good condition. Nice island here. You know, it's a laminate, but there's no burn marks on it that we can see. There's that living area. We've got blinds in, little mini blinds on the front. And then a roller blind on the back. The homeowner's put in a little sort of faux wood. I don't know what you'd call that. Yeah. Decorative. You know, their, their cuts weren't great, but not terrible. You've got a little half bathroom down here. So half bathroom, toilet, sink, me and Sam again. <laughs> we're smiling, you can't tell, we are. but we're smiling. We like it, we're smiling. So they've got a nice roll down blind here. Oh yeah, that's cool. So you probably got eight by five worth of concrete, little grill, Lennox AC. And Sam measured the fence and thinks it's just a little under five foot, right Sam? Yeah. Some garden boxes back there. And the, the side yard goes back a little bit, so there's a little extra room there too. Robert doesn't have shoes on, so we won't make him walk. I don't mind. I'll <laughs> no, show I'm you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're fine. Don't mind at all. <laughs> Here's all your sprinkler controls. I'm going to show you more of Sam because you've not seen her for a week. <laughs> I'm not that extra space down here as well so you know if you if you bought a brand new house today that didn't have the fence in this yard you're probably adding 13 14 thousand yeah I would say for just like a setup like this type mm -hmm. of thing. yeah you know and if you were to paint the exterior of this house today if you want to get rid of the red it might be a little more because red would need yeah. probably some extra uh, or 
extra coats. We get a little bit of a mountain view. I don't know, you probably can't see it in the video. But... I think that'll go away because of the trees there. Yeah. But nice for now. Undercoat, they call it, right? For what? Base for when you're painting. Oh, yeah. So I'll show you the garage quickly. It's like a two and a half car. Nice high ceiling so you can get more storage up there if you finish the basement. There's your sprinkler system. They used to put the HVAC in there. Now it's downstairs, which is interesting. Could you get the basement quickly? Unfinished. This is all insulation per code. They got all their personal stuff down here. Now it's an eight foot ceiling, nine foot's ideal in a basement, but I wouldn't worry too much about that and then your HVAC's off in a little cubby area which is great radon's done as well I think I saw yeah there's a fan in place you know there's a fan in place whenever you see the barometer that's a full active system can I see what company put it in? Didn't say. You know, Lennox furnace, which is just great. There's your humidifier, which is perfect because you've got hardwoods, well, engineered hardwoods. We're not sure if there's a rough plum down here. The marketing doesn't say there's a rough plum, so a rough plum is kind of the underground pipes for a bathroom. They could be in here, but with all their personal belongings over here, you can't quite tell. Let's take you upstairs. Ahora mismo vamos a hacerlo en español. ¿Quién sabe? Es posible que Cody sabe hablar en español. Aquí hay closet. Closet por ropa. Escaleras con carpeta. Hay tres habitaciones. I'm sweating now. I'm messing with you. So here's this cool bonus room. This would have been unfinished, but the buyers, oof, I'm out of breath too. <laughs> Pay to get it finished. Have a closet put in and a door put on. So I've seen this used as a pool room, ping pong room, extra bedroom. Some people use it as the master. Ooh. <laughs> You're six feet apart, don't worry. Nice, this, this was a huge selling feature for this home. And the house is as clean as a whistle. Which Cody will like. Nice subway tile there. Yeah. This is a 14 by 11 kids room, bigger than you would typically expect. Again, another homeowner special wall there, but it's not terrible. Mm. Blinds are in place. How's the view from here? Probably a good old mountain view. Yeah. Nice. I'll draw a mountain for you, Cody. Mountains. <laughs> Washer and dryer closet, not staying. Kitchen appliances are in though. Yes, they are. And then the master. You see there's plenty of big furniture in here, so it's quite spacious. Walk-in closet. Possibly one of the cleanest homes I've ever shown. Twin sinks, that same lovely subway tile. So this was Hartford's smallest two-story and they don't do this model anymore. Not sure why, because I sold a few of these. 
All right, Sam, anything to add? Uh, no, I think that's it. She's really unhappy right now. Can you see from the look on her face? Can you tell me my eyes? <laughs> yeah. You should just do a big smile. I know, right? I should. Dang, should have done that. Okay. Thanks, Cody. Talk soon.